Here we are on 55 northbound. And as you can see, something is on fire. I've seen a lot of emergency vehicles go by. I think I got here right after it happened because I've seen quite a few emergency vehicles go by now. I think, being that there's a lot of ambulances coming too, that this has got to be cars or a truck or something on fire. Because as you can see, I mean, this is just farmland. It's all farmland. There aren't houses out there. I don't think it's a house. There goes another police vehicle. It looks like they've completely stopped traffic on the other side of the freeway. I see no traffic coming through, so it's stopped over there as well. And look at the wind. That's not going to help. That's just going to blow everything everywhere. Of course, central Illinois, you know, we are the windy place, Chicago, the windy city, which is north of us. And over this farmland, the, the wind just whips. Well, it looks like maybe they're starting to let some vehicles go through. I can hear an ambulance. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, those vehicles are on the side road, aren't they? Yeah, they're using that lane to get emergency vehicles through. So we've seen several ambulances and a lot of fire trucks. And the ambulances are kind of sad and worrisome because that means there's people involved instead of just like a structure that started on fire, which would be the best case scenario. But unfortunately, this does not look like that. Here comes something else. It must be on maybe on that side too, or is it on this side? Oh, there it is. Another ambulance. Uh, two ambulances. That's sad. Now, third is a fire vehicle, maybe, or is that an ambulance? I don't know. It's just sad to see all this go down because you know this is not good that they're calling that many ambulances. I've already seen probably five ambulances come to the scene, so what in the world happened here? You would expect the fire vehicles, but when you see all the ambulances, it's kind of sad, you know, more people are involved. And at first I just thought this was the crop being, you know, the ground being tilled because the farmers put their crops in and you get something somewhat similar to this, which you can see over here. That's for the farmers, that's not fire. So when I was driving down the freeway, I just thought, oh boy, all of the farmers are tilling their fields right now. And look at all this being tilled. <laughs> well, that's, um, so that's normal here at this time of year. I know it looks crazy. It literally had the freeway to the point that you could hardly see at one point. I don't know what that guy's doing. Here's a couple more police cars coming. Boy, we're in the middle of, I don't know what. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Let's see what this guy's doing in the median. Looks like he's looking for something in the median. <sighs> Strange. I if I'd be walking around out there. You can get ticks on you. Anyway, this is what happens when the farmers till their fields. It looks like smoke. And it's hard to see and we literally had to go really slow on the freeway just a little while ago because of this we were literally driving through a big dust cloud like that because they turn up these fields and all of that dirt just flies in the air and with all this wind see how windy it is out there it just moves it all over and that's not going to help this fire because of course wind just wants to feed the fire and push the fire and make the fire go further. I think that sign says, <laughs> shackled by lust, 
Jesus sets free. Well, just remember that if you are, there's your phone number to call. Here comes another fire truck. Oh boy, this is not good. I mean, are they literally like running out of water? What is going on? Why do we need this many fire trucks? I literally have seen like maybe 10, 15 fire trucks come. I'm gonna be here forever. I'm never gonna get to work. Well, you know, now that I'm looking on this side, that looks like smoke too, though, doesn't it? Look at how dark it is over there. Could that just be the field? Or is that, is there stuff over there too? But they're letting people drive on the side roads. So that can't, that's got to be the field. They wouldn't let people drive past it if it was smoke. Isn't that wild? I wonder if, being that the farmers were tilling the fields, it got to the point that people couldn't see well, which is what happened to us back there. And they accidentally, you know, someone got in an accident. This one's coming this way, which is, I don't know what he's doing. Hmm. It really did look like smoke over here, but now it looks better. So we're back to over on this side. And I really think that must have been a farmer tilling the field. Do you see why it's so confusing when you drive down here? This time of year, that's not an unusual sight. And it's crazy that it blocks the freeway and you can't see. And I bet you that had something to do with this accident today. Which is really sad. People don't think about that. The effects of tilling up the fields. But that is the effect of tilling up the field. See how hazy, smoky, and weird it is over there? That's what it's supposed to be like. It's a nice pretty blue day. Blue sky. And then, you know, pretty clouds. It's really nice. But you get down by where they're tilling the fields and you get that. Big difference, right? bet that's what happened here is that they were tilling the fields and people couldn't see which is sad I don't know what we've got over here going on maybe the ambulance is taking people to the hospital now would be my guess that's what it looks like must have loaded up and be on their way to the hospital. I don't know how they're going to get there. I guess they're going to have to take side roads for most of it. People that got really hurt today, clearly, and hopefully not burned. But I have a fire extinguisher in my car at all times because of this. <laughs> it is right there. You can see it. That's my fire extinguisher. I keep it in my car because you know what? Who knows when something like that? That was a ambulance fire truck. When something like this could happen to you, good reason to have one. Too bad I wasn't there on the scene right when it happened, but I don't think most people do carry fire extinguishers in their car. And it is not a bad idea. Well, the smoke is getting a little less. It looks less black. The sky is pretty messed up over here. In a weird way, it's pretty looking. 
looks like that deep, dark, rainy day kind of look. You know, you see them all of a sudden starting to race back the other way, and you're like, where are they going? What are they doing? <laughs> I don't know. Is this an emergency vehicle or is just this just a road vehicle? Mm, it's, that seems like a... I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Utility vehicle? Maybe not involved in the fire? Well, I don't know if we're going to get out of here anytime soon. I think I'm going to go look at the news and see what's going on.